Welcome back. Today's ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court against RIM's patent infringement appeal shocked markets. As we heard earlier, investors think the BlackBerry maker can still solve its problems. Joining us in studio to talk about what's at stake for research in motion is technology analyst Jesse Hirsch. So what is at stake for research in motion here? Well, quite a bit. Uh, explicitly, it's the American market, but it's also the perception of RIM being the go-to device when it comes to email. Certainly, they've benefited from being the first past the post and being one of the first people to introduce this technology, but there are a lot of other people who eye their market as something that they would like to possess. So, who's, who are their big competitors? Well, right now, uh, two major ones. One is Ericsson, uh, the mobile manufacturer, who are going to have a new device in 2006, which will have the same functionality as a RIM, as well as multimedia. Uh, also, what Microsoft. What does that mean, have multimedia? Well, multimedia in the sense of audio, video, have a camera as part of the phone. RIM is really focused on the business market in terms of being just email and office applications. But in fact, there are more people, for example, real estate brokers, who are looking at trio phones that have the same office capabilities but also have cameras and also have multimedia capabilities that are good for looking at presentations and for taking pictures when you're on the road, which RIM has not really focused on. And RIM, uh, if I remember, uh, does not have a great uh, address book. No, the problem with RIM has been their approach has been very proprietary in terms of their control of both the device and the software and the data network. And this means that there hasn't been a lot of third-party applications that you would see with other devices that offer perhaps better versions of the native software that comes with it. You mentioned the Ericsson product. Uh, uh, what other things? Is, a, uh, the, is the Palm Trio the big, uh, the big competitor? Currently, the Palm Trio, which they've had a number of new models, I would say is better than the current RIMs, partly because of the, the convergence, if you will, of the multimedia. But also, also worth noting are Apple and Motorola, which have recently partnered with uh, what's called the Rocker Phone, which has iTunes, the music software, but again, it also does email. What you're seeing is a lot of the manufacturers, where it used to be quite novel to have email on the phone, are now making it standard, which kind of takes the wind out of RIM sales. In but does it have the email. instant email? That's what, that's what the BlackBerry has. It come, you send someone sends you an email, pop. Yeah, and, and what's often called the push technology, where the email's pushed to the device. Yes, there are companies who have essentially emulated what RIM has done and are, are essentially offering this type of technology with their devices. So people are no longer have only RIM as the choice for that type you of technology. You still use this thing. You, you haven't switched. I have not yet switched, although as you can see from my device, it's been crazy glued to sort of last as long. But I have been looking at other models, and I don't think that I'll choose RIM again. Okay. The, today's decision by the U.S. Supreme Court, do you think that RIM is going to come to some kind of a settlement to try and get this, push this out of the way? I think, I think RIM really needs to put this to bed, as it were. And I mean, the initial, the $425 million as the initial settlement, which fell apart, unfortunately indicates they're going to have to pay a lot more than that. The question is whether they can do it in a quick enough time frame so as to recover that money by getting this technology and new technology to market. Well, what do you expect from RIM? I mean, these, they, I mean, you know, they came out with this product, they were first, uh, them, do they have anything waiting in the wings, do you think? Well, nothing that they've announced. I mean, their, their focus over the last few years has been refining what they have rather than looking at something new. And, and I think there's a certain complacency that they've had, which again may come to bite them in the next year when there are a lot of new models brought out by the major mobile manufacturers. And that RIM may find that rather than focusing on making their product better, they should have looked at introducing new products. Thanks very much for coming in and talking to us. Thank you.